Hello guys, today I want to review or more or less explain a snippet of code, Laravel code, which I saw in a tweet by Martin Joe. And there are a lot of things that we can learn from this one snippet. So step by step, we'll dissect it and discuss what is action execute, what is map function for collections and how does it work, then what is dot 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 before the row, then what is subscriber data and from array for the structure how to filter the collection with that specific structure, and then another action execution. So here you can learn how one liner can be responsible for quite a lot of things. In this case, it's a console command, artisan command to import subscribers from Excel file or CSV file. I don't have that code or project launched locally, so I will just try to imitate that in my artisan tinker and we'll discuss step by step. Let's go. First, let's start with action. So what is an action? I have a separate video about that, but basically pretty popular concept these days in Laravel is to create a separate class responsible for one simple action. So for example, read CSV is one action. All it does reads the CSV from path and returns the collection. Inside of it, it can be using Laravel Excel package or whatever package, you don't really care about that. Another way of doing that would be to call a service class, create a service class specifically for reading the CSV, for example. But actions became pretty popular in Laravel and I will link in the description below the video to learn more about actions. Now, this action returns the collection and then we map through that collection. And after that map, the result of that collection will be different. Now, what's inside of that map function? It returns the array, the modified array. So before it was the array of row, array item, and we need to add tags to that row. Or in fact, we need to modify the tags to be some kind of a different value. In this case, we're filtering, we're transforming it back to array. From what I understand, it's just filtering empty tags. Now let's discuss what is dot 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 here. In other words, it is called splat operator in PHP. It exists for a pretty long time, but I haven't seen it much used in the wild. And what it does, it unpacks the current array and adds more items to it. So in other words, it would be the same as raw tags equals something. And let's take a look at an example. In my artisan tinker, I've created a collection which should mimic something similar to the example. And this is how it looks like. And then we map through that collection and try to add tags to the row. The result is this. So the original array was ID and name and tags are added as the third element. Keep in mind that this operator works only in PHP 8.1. If you launch that in earlier versions, you likely get an array, cannot unpack array with keys being strings, so ID and name. Before PHP 8.1, that operator dot 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 works only with arrays without keys. Just out of curiosity, has any of you used that dot 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 operator in your projects? Share in the comments. Now let's move on to other stuff. What else do we have here? So we have three maps in a row. So we map through that collection with one tags operator, then same thing with another function related to tags, which I guess would return tag IDs or something. So self get or create tags would be a function internal function inside of the same class should be a static function because it's called via self. I'm not sure actually if I would do that static unless it is used elsewhere, I would probably get that as a private function and call this get or create tags but I don't have enough information to comment on that properly in this project. So by the end of those two maps, we have collection with rows with tags. And then the third map is actually interesting. Subscriber data is a data transfer object. And this whole Twitter thread by Martin is around DTOs. So if I scroll up, this is the first class. So there's a class subscriber data, which defines what data can be inside of that object. Typical example would be importing CSVs, which may have various results, unstructured, unstructured array without any validation. And you need to transform that into some kind of strict validated object. So that's where you would use data transferred objects. And the properties of that object would be exactly ID, email, first name, last name, and stuff like that. So in another tweet, you define how each of those are defined. 
So this is where you get from array and this is where you call from array in that chain. So we return to the original chain. You map through all the collection and you return subscriber data objects from array, which means by the end of this, it will be a collection of subscriber data objects and not arrays anymore, which means more structured. And then you can pass that structured object to your other functions, other services, other actions or whatever. And this is exactly what happens here. Filter collection function goes through each of elements of that collection, which is now structured subscriber data and checks if the subscriber exists in the database already. Subscriber is probably eloquent model, I'm guessing here, and data email is already a part of that structure of subscriber data instead of having that as array. So by that time, we have only non-existing subscribers. And then finally, we go through each of those elements. So again, another map and another action called executing the action of creating the subscriber in the database. Maybe in that action, there's more logic than just eloquent create or insert. So that's another case of using actions. And then finally, the result of that is count, which returns the actual number of how many subscribers were imported. So what do you think about this whole structure? I started kind of liking doing the mini reviews or kind of reaction videos almost to other people's code if it contains interesting example. So I'll probably continue doing that on this channel. And if you want more examples of Laravel code in 2021, I've created or compiled a lot of Laravel examples at laravelexamples.com divided by tag of using some packages or collection methods, including or design patterns or Laravel features. So for example, map is one of the tags and you can see how map is used, for example, in dashboard spy TBE with specific file and specific example. So here's filter and here's map and you can go to the actual repository to see full example. So a lot of examples here for free. You don't need to log into anywhere. Currently it contains 95 open source projects. So you can check that out. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.